Colorado or Utah recruit you? Uh, Colorado did. They were actually in my like one of my top three schools that I was considering. Yeah. So what was so terrible about them when you picked out? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, they I mean uh, they've got a great coaching staff and really uh, really got along well with them and the team just wasn't the right fit. Did you know their team last year? Did you follow them some? Um, a little bit, yeah, I followed them a little bit. Um, I actually kind of knew Alec Burks a little bit because he played on the same AU team that I did. He was in a different age group, of okay. course, but he, he was in the same organization, so I kind of knew him a little bit. Given that you knew uh, how many guys they lost from last year, I mean, I think four starters, four full-time yeah, starters, are you at all surprised how well they played this year? Um, I mean, they, they've got a great team and uh, good coaching staff, and so, I mean, anything can happen when a bunch of guys go out and they play well together, and when you're well coached, it's easy to play, play well. Not that you ever it wish ill on anyone, um, but with Richard having been playing limited minutes, what has that done for you and your <coughs> Um, I don't I mean, it's just the same mindset. I just got to go out and play hard and uh, do whatever I have to do to help the team win. Whether that's coming off the bench or starting, it doesn't uh, It doesn't really matter to me whether I'm starting or not. Like, if Rich started the next game, I wouldn't, it wouldn't phase me or anything. I'd just come off the bench and go out with uh, an aggressive mindset, just go out and try to grab every rebound I can. Did you have any expectations coming into this season? <laughs> as far as much as you have? No, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't I, I didn't think I would get as much playing time as I have, but I mean, that was, that was one of those things where like you just gotta go out and prove yourself, and so I mean, you gotta play hard and give everything you got every minute you're on the court and uh, see what happens. And, and what now that you've started for a, a few games, what have you learned about yourself and and, and what you have to do to? Well, <laughs> one of the interesting things, and uh, I think it was my dad who pointed this out: high school games are 32 minutes long, and I've played 33 minutes a couple times. And so I was just like, well, I don't think I ever played like a whole high school game. I, I always came out at some point. And so it's just, I mean, that's interesting just to think about how, how it's so much is different. David, uh, Coach Montgomery a few minutes ago was talking about uh, how, despite the fact that Harper's not scoring as much maybe as he did last year, that his contributions to being really valuable. From your perspective as a freshman, a guy who just learned the college game, what do you see in Harper and what does he bring to you guys? Uh, Harper is. Probably the smartest player I've ever played with. He's just, I mean, and having him on the court, it's, it's like he's always there to pick up one of my mistakes or something because I can't even count the number of times I've gotten beat or the guy's got a move on me and Harp will come up and there'll be a charge. And so the basket doesn't count or Harp will come over and help and the guy I have to pass it out. And just like little things like that. And he's just always doing the right thing, always helping out the rest of the team and he just keeps it flowing. He, uh, Coach said he's like the brains of the operation, so he's always got the thing moving and it's just, it's really, really valuable having him on the court. So so all those charges he gets are making up for your mistakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it can seem like. Throwing himself on the grenade. Yeah. <laughs> like a big brother. Yeah, yeah. In that respect, is he a perfect uh, teammate for you to have uh, as a freshman? I mean, you're, here's the, the senior who's seen, uh, seen it all and you're just getting uh, adjusted to it. Yeah, it's it's really nice having Harp on the team, and he's I mean he's always there. Like I've said before, he's always there. He's always in. He's always willing to listen, help me out no matter if we got a problem on the court. You know, if I don't know the play or if I'm not doing something right on defense, he's always willing to tell me what I'm doing wrong and tell me how to do do it correctly. So it's really nice having him out there because he's so experienced. You guys are obviously still undefeated at home. Is that? You know, do you guys feel like you're invincible there? Is it kind of you come home and you know we can't lose? Um, I don't. I mean, it's just it's really easy to play in front of a home a home crowd because I mean you have the crowd on your side, and so once you start building momentum, not only do you feel the momentum, but the crowd starts adding its energy, and so that gives energy to, to us, and so I think that really helps because it gives us even more momentum. It's like double, double what we had if we were just on the road. Is there a sense of relief among the players to kind of get that first road win? You know, uh, last week a lot of guys were saying we really need to get that road win out yeah. of the way. Yeah, we really needed that. We really needed that one. Uh, came up big. I mean, had some great performances in the Oregon game, and so it was really nice to get a win, especially the way we did.